Clinton's strong debate performance appeared to trigger a rise in U.S. stock futures, the Asian markets, even the Mexican peso. Analysts say it's not because the financial markets like her policies more, Vlad. It's because they view her as more predictable than Donald Trump when it comes to trade and foreign policy. All right, Nancy, let's start with the debate. Uh, Clinton's campaign is claiming victory. Both campaigns are, in fact, spinning. But was it the great lift that the Clinton folks hoped it'd be? Or should they be worried that uh, Trump could retool his message and come roaring back in the second debate? I think they know that they're going to see um, a more combative Donald Trump than they saw in the first debate. He's already said that that's the case. Um, but I don't think that they ever expected that they would be able to land some kind of knockout punch in the first debate and then they could go skipping all the way till Election Day. Uh, our elections are just too close for that kind of thing. And it's still too early to say how much this one debate is going to move the needle, if at all. She was. Um, moving in the wrong direction before this debate, and she was watching her lead narrow in a number of states. Uh, and so the question is, was she at least able to stabilize the polls, and can she see some kind of a bounce from it? And can she build on that in the next couple of debates? Uh, you know, she called Donald Trump's um, comments today about foreign policy in the debate dangerously incoherent. Uh, and so I think you can expect to hear more of that argument in the second debate where we're told that foreign policy will be an even bigger focus. Nancy, Donald Trump was the one who first referenced his temperament. And Tuesday morning, Hillary Clinton responded. I want to play a little bit of that for our viewers. Well, I think his um his demeanor, his temperament, his behavior on the stage could be seen by everybody, and people can draw their own conclusions. And um, I thought on uh, several occasions uh, he was making uh, charges and claims that were demonstrably untrue, uh, offering opinions that uh, I think a lot of people would find offensive and off-putting. He can run his campaign and present himself however he chooses. So, Nancy, how is the campaign seizing on Donald Trump and his quote-unquote temperament? Well, you know, Clinton there was actually far more measured than her campaign has been. They have been describing uh, Donald Trump's performance as unhinged, even deranged. Uh, they said that he lied over and over again. Uh, that's pretty hyperbolic. Uh, but basically, the argument that they are making uh, is that any time uh, Clinton baited him even slightly, uh, he took that bait and ran with it um, and spent all of his time defending himself. Uh, they say he even lied today about his lie last night uh, and claimed that he didn't say things last night that he did. Uh, and so they are going to continue to prosecute this case against Donald Trump the way they see it. They just have more material now uh, for her to use on the stump uh, and in campaign ads. You know, she really relished today here in Raleigh going after him for some of the things that he said last night, most notably on his tax returns, uh, on profiting off of the financial collapse. Uh, and so you're going to hear more of that on the campaign trail going forward, just going to be in four different battleground states over the next four days, trying to make up for some lost time because she spent so much time preparing instead of campaigning last week. Mm. And Nancy, there's a pro Clinton super PAC that's already out with a campaign ad entitled My Temperament. It's always amazing to me how quickly these super PACs get these ads out there. Right. Well, you know, what they do is they kind of prepare for things that they think they'll hear in the debate and then they hear it and they drop it in. In this case, uh, they knew that something having to do with Trump's demeanor would have to come up at the debate. And so uh, they prepared a string of clips uh, of him saying um, things that are sort of uh, out there and combative. And then they just dropped in right at the beginning of it. Trump saying last night uh, that he's got the greatest temperament around, a claim that actually drew some laughter in the debate hall. Uh, so uh, you get a sense of uh, how both campaigns are capitalizing on what happened last night. I'm sure you will see ads from Donald Trump's campaign uh, that have things that he said about trade last night in the debate uh, because they believe that that was his strongest argument last night. And they think um, that reporters and beltway types are underestimating how powerful that argument about uh, trade leading to job losses is uh, among a lot of voters in this country. Nancy Cordes for us tonight. Thank you, Nancy.